So now it comes to our function that will render. Function draw or render, whatever you want to call it, draw a 2D plane. So void sprite badge rectangle p rect so what are we gonna do in here we're gonna call in our vector 2d we'll call it in 3d which is that gonna contain our birds and a vector 2d that will contain our text our textures or UVs, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm gonna call it UV. Make it a little bit more easier to read to understand. And a U32 of indices. Like I said before, we can have a lot of different. I mean, indices can be called differently, and and you can need six indices, not four, because to create a plane needs three triangles. So. A triangle contains three points, so he, since it's two, it's going to be six. So in case you guys didn't know. So M indices count. Why am I, why is it not called in here? I, I misspelled something, didn't I? Yes, I did. That's why. Okay, so it's six. Like I mentioned. So in this C. Just in case you any guys brag. So zero. It's gonna equal zero. I'll explain in a bit. You're gonna need six of these. Make sure it's one, two, three, four, five. And it's gonna be one, two, one, two, three. I'll explain in a bit, guys. I'll explain. Let's finish this class real quick. So we're gonna create our birds. It's going to be a vector three. Well, you know what? What do we need to do next uh, is to make sure the point or the position of the of the plane is in the center. So in case in the future you want to rotate, it rotates towards the center and not one of the corners. So we got to tell it that we want it to actually tell the that the point should be in the center. So let's do that real quick, shall we? So you want to get P rect. You want to get the right because that's the right side. You can divide it by two. The float right. It's going to equal the left plus the P rect right. Our float um top is the same thing negative because we're gonna move it outward to make sure the point is negative I mean the the point is in the center so make sure you do that to the Y side too to get bottom divided by 2.0 F float bottom equals top plus P rec dot bottom So you're going to create our birds equals vector 2, 3 to be left, top, and Z is going to be 0, birds of 1, vector 3, and that's going to be the right, top of 0, birds of Two equals vector three of left and bottom equals 
and birds. The last one, uh, the last point is going to equal vector three of right and bottom. So if we actually look at the indices, you can see that the left top is zero. The second indice is going to be the right top. I think it'd be better off for you. Let me open paint real quick. Just for you guys who don't know what the heck's going on and why is it zero, one, two, one, two, three. I'll open paint real quick. So let's open down the side real quick and I haven't used paint for a while so I apologize. Now I need a bigger brush. Is there a bigger brush in here? Size. Okay, so that's this gonna be the points of our plane. Apologize terrible. But not a drawer. And basically, when we can create, this is the left top. So this is going to be, for now, I would use a lot of people set as zero. Oh, wait, this makes sense. Zero. We can, then the right top is going to be one. That's how we initializing our vertices. The left bottom should be two. And three, of course, that's the last one. That's how we initializing here. So your left top should be zero because that's the zero one. The first one should be right top. Left bottom should be two, and right top, I mean right bottom should be three. And this is the way we can initialize our, to render our two triangles. So we can go from zero to one, and then we can go to two. And basically this line here, it creates automatically. And then from there, we can go back to one, and it's gonna go back down here again, to two, and it's gonna go to three. And this line creates it automatically, and there you go. That's our two triangles, you know. So it's going to go 1, 0, 1, 2. And it's going to go back to 1, and then it's going to go back to 2 again, and then 3. And basically, this line creates it on its own. So that's our two triangles that's going to create our, our plane. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Maybe if you actually pictured it right, don't save. So I hope that makes a little sense. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not the best explainer ever. So our next thing is easier to see. You know what? Give me a second, guys. Let me turn the light on my room because it's getting dark. And like I said before in my Let's Plays, my keyboard does not turn on. It does not have lights or anything, so it kind of sucks, you know? So our UVs are zero. It's going to be a vector 2, and the top corner is going to be 0, of course. You be with the second one for that other corner. It's going to be 1, 0, 0. You be of the second one is vector 3 and 2, and that's going to be left bottom, so 0. One zero, and for our last one, they're all gonna be ones because that's the other last corner. So, oh my God, I can't type today. Okay, there we go. So that's how we can define our vertices and textures, and our indices. So now we want to bind our buffer, our vertex buffer, or array. I mean. M vertex array ID. Want to bind it, and we can have GL bind buffer. I'm gonna call it GL array buffer M vertex buffer ID, and we can bind that buffer to have our our data. So GL array buffer and it's going to be 4 times the size of vector 3 and it's 4 because we have 4 vertices that we can we, that we create on top so we have 4 so that's the reason why we multiply them by 4 and we're going to pass in verts and it's going to be a GL static draw 
and it's static because we're not going to go in there and reinitialize our vertices or reset our vertices all over again. And I, I'm not going to go into that just yet at the bot, just yet. So, so our next thing is our enable vertex attributes. Let me start because I don't see it there yet. Attribute array. Set the first ar array or vertex array. GL vertex attrib pointer. To be zero, and it's three because it's a, it has X Y Z's, and it, it's a float, and it's gonna be false. The size of the vector three, and make sure it's zero. We don't have a pointer for any. I know in, in the regular like Open Gel two point one, you can you could pass your gel your birds in here. But now you don't have to because we have it saved up in here, this ID. So now we want to bind our the other buffer. We want to bind our texture array. GL array buffer and text buffer ID. And we can bind that buffer with the data. Is it? No, it's buffer data. And we can also pass an array buffer. And that's also going to be four because we have four uh, textures or UVs. And it's going to be a vector two. We're going to pass in UVs. I probably should have been, it should have been plural. Should have been so much better if I would have just called it. So yes, so that's our ID. And you wanna make sure GL enable vertex attrib array of one. I mean GL vertex Attrib pointer of one, two, and two because you only have X and Y or U and B. GL float false because you don't you don't need it normalized or anything. The size of vector two, and we can pass zero for the last one. Now our last buffer that we have to bind is our index array, I mean our indices. And this could be GL element array buffer. We can pass in our index buffer ID. GL buffer data. GL element array buffer what the heck am I doing that's a buffer data right? I just might make sure we're gonna pass an M indice count times the size of u32 our indices and GL static draw and we finally can be able to draw elements or geo triangles and in the C count geo unsigned int and zero and make sure you want to delete our stuff bind vertex array Make sure that equals zero. GL disable disable vertex attribute array equals zero. And and there you go, guys. That's how we draw our stuff. 
Well, hold up, guys. We're not done yet. We can't really render stuff on the screen just yet. Because we could need to create our shader class. OpenGL 4.0 is now shader based. So I'm pretty sure you can't use any like gel vertex stuff anymore. Uh, they probably call it deprecated now.